Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Kolb. I'm a gastroenterology fellow at the University of Colorado Hospital. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about how COVID-19 has impacted my life as a gastroenterologist and how um, I can hopefully give you some information on how this may be impacting colon cancer screening or any of your colonoscopy procedures. So to kind of take a step back, um, nationwide, you know, on March 13th, the Surgeon General issued an advisory statement saying that all elective procedures or non-urgent cases, and this is for all kinds of surgeries and procedures, should really be postponed if possible. And the reason is that was as we were starting to see the spread of COVID-19 and um, enforcing so social distancing and thinking that all of those procedures that are utilizing healthcare resources, personnel, and also keeping patients in the hospital should be postponed if possible. Now, in the sort of days and weeks to follow, many different uh, local governors and sort of at the state level issued similar different legislation or warnings saying that, you know, elective procedures should be postponed. So for example, I live in Colorado, so our governor gave um, a similar message to everybody. And then it really does fall on the individual hospitals and different medical groups to then take the federal uh, suggestions and warnings and to listen to those recommendations from their local and state officials and then to enforce those in their own practices. So where does that leave GI? Um, so a lot of endoscopy is elective, uh, but not all of it. But when we think about colon cancer screening, colon cancer screening is, it is the most important thing we do as gastroenterologists and I cannot state enough how much it matters. However, it's not of the utmost importance that it hap happens today or tomorrow in the setting of COVID-19. And what we mean by that is that any person who has no symptoms and is due for colon cancer screening is really considered to be a elective procedure that can be delayed a few weeks. And when we say a few weeks, this is a constantly moving target. So for now, all people who are average risk, no symptoms, colon cancer screening is just as important to us as it is to you, but we think that that is a procedure that does not need to be done urgently. And so that's being delayed. Some places are delaying it for a month. Some places are delaying it indefinitely until uh, the pandemic is resolved and we have resources. And just to talk about why, the reason is really to protect you as the patient. Uh, we want to limit the number of patients who are coming through our endoscopy unit who are potentially infected. We want to limit exposure to other patients and we want you to be safe and at home. And it's much safer for you to be at home and not coming in for your routine screening colonoscopy right now. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions uh, about stool-based testing, and there's really two pieces to that. So the first is, let's say you're 50 or 52, and you're sort of due for colon cancer screening, and in the past, your provider has offered you either stool-based testing, so uh, FIT testing or Cologuard, or maybe you've been offered a colonoscopy, and now you're sort of thinking, well, I can't really do the colonoscopy. Maybe I should do the stool-based testing. So no matter when, whether this was five months ago or today during this pandemic, you know, both of these are great options and uh, these are both effective for colon cancer screening. The caveat is that if you do decide for whatever reason to go ahead with the stool-based testing, it's, it's a little bit variable whether or not if you have a positive result, we'll act on that positive result. So the GI professional societies are saying that if you are fit positive, if you have positive stool-based testing, Typically, we always follow that up with a colonoscopy, but that decision about whether or not that colonoscopy should be done now, sort of urgently or delayed, actually varies. And so the GI professional societies actually say that the colonoscopy can probably wait about four to six weeks. And so those are most likely being postponed. For example, at my institution, we're all reviewing these on an individual basis. Um, so what I would probably say is that as important as colon cancer screening is, really your health right now is of the utmost importance, and so it's probably okay to delay this screening.
So we definitely are still here. All of your GI providers are here and working and able to do telehealth. So the caveat would be that if you are experiencing severe abdominal pain or nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, if you're having any rectal bleeding that is, you know, um, certainly concerning to you, it's also concerning to us. And so even if you don't know if your symptom is something that would be considered urgent, please give us a call. We are all here. We've expanded our ability to do telehealth and to do phone conversations. And any case that isn't very straightforward where, you know, there may be a need to do, you know, or if you've had, you know, maybe you were fit positive, but you've had some weight loss, anything concerning, we want to hear from you and we want to decide together, how do we triage this in terms of elective or urgent? I always tell patients that you are your own best advocate. So if for whatever reason, your primary care or your GI doctor has told you that this procedure is delayed, just know that we are all keeping logs and registers as well of uh, lists of who we need to call. Um, but you know, we are all very hopeful that we're gonna get through this pandemic together. And once we're on the other side of it, um, I encourage you to remember if you're the one who needs the colon cancer screening, we will do our best. But but sometimes phone calls get missed. So keep it on your radar. Make sure it's one of those, you know, phone calls that you make when things have sort of settled down and your family and friends are safe. Um, that's really time for you to say, you know what, I know this was postponed, but I'm gonna get back into it. You know, this is really an unprecedented time. This is something that none of us um, on a societal level, on a professional level, um, have really ever dealt with or been trained to deal with. And so I think we've seen tremendous acts of generosity and kindness from um, patients to healthcare workers and vice versa. So I would just say, um, give everyone the benefit of the doubt. We are here to help you. Uh, we are, you know, we really uh, value all of our patients and any questions that they have. And so please, please, don't hesitate to call your provider if you have anything that you're not sure about. No question is silly. And um, just know that all of these sort of rules and regulations and delaying things, it does not mean at all that we don't value um, doing your procedures, but we really just wanna keep you and your family members safe. So uh, let's get through this together. And uh, we, um, you know, I'm hoping for better days.